Greetings, everyone. Welcome back. It's Heroes Rest. I hope you're having a sweet day today. There is just calmness in the city. It's uh, it's both nice, but also could be terrifying because the Kobold boss has arrived. Yes, the Kobold boss is here, and we must beat him five times in the next two weeks. So let's take a look and see what we're going to do about that. I've got a list of quests on the board. There are 14 total. And I've also made the Kobold slaying quests for the boss the priority quest. So anyone who can take them should be taking them. There should be there was five of them on there. In addition, I'm trying to gather as much iron as I can because I'm going to shift away as quickly as possible from uh, making tier one stuff. So we're just going to kind of focus as much as we can uh, on the tier two stuff as you know, if, if possible. Um, so we're going to need lots of iron for that. We're going to need, you know, higher quality wood. We got 15 of that there. We got 20 here. Obviously some tier one stuff still needs made, but we have extra resources. Oh, Theod steer died. Who's who's, I don't know who this is. They were brand new. They weren't even alive for a day. <sighs> well, they took, honestly, the rookies, they take, uh, missions that are just too, too strong for them, you know? Shouldn't be doing that. His Majesty the King has made a request, and he's going to pay us a boatload of money for a bunch of stuff, which I think I have almost enough to give him everything he wants right now. That's cool. Um, 10 wood, 10 fish. Ooh, I can't afford that. What do I have? Uh, seven fish. Here's your sign. Uh, 68 food. Let me double check really quick and make sure we can afford that too. We'll just do the wood here really quick. Um, for food, it matters what's in the inn. And we have a good supply. Oh yeah, we got a good amount of offerings here. I think we can go ahead and give the king uh, a good serving of food here as well. So we need three fish. And then we can have 40, 4,600 more dollars. That will be great. Uh, 4,600 more gold, I suppose, is what it's actually called. Just taking a look at what we have in stock here really quick. Um, obviously, I said I wanted to wait until I was very sure we could afford it, so I didn't have to be scrambling for money the rest of the, the rest of the series. You know, like, um, the next video, I don't want to be sourcing for money, right? So, uh, we're up to 11.3 now. We're pretty secure. I don't have to worry about money anymore. And now we should start offering more weapons, right? We have two tier two weapons, and there's only one one-handed sword and one two-handed sword in stock. So I probably should look at doing something like that. There's also pretty crappy armors in stock. So let's take a look really quick at what we might be able to do about that. Now, I said I wanted to get away from tier two stuff, but I am going to make some tier one swords because I have a plethora of these beginner resources, and I just think that it's... Uh, good to have things in stock instead for the for especially for the newbies and everything so we'll get that going okay excellent what a nice epic uh, we'll get a couple of two-handed swords going here too because we can we just want to make sure that things are in stock and ready to go so nobody's complaining about the upgrades so i'll go offhand swords we'll make like three of those the pace of Making them is slowed down. That was weird. The progress bar slowed down. And then for the armors, we'll switch to tier two and we will make armor. Three tier two armors, please. Broken. Broken. Uh, we will do this. Oh, wait. What's wrong? Uh, we have. Oh, I need three iron for this. Okay. Well, go back down to tier one then. We'll just make. As many of these as we can, I guess, just so we have the supply available for them. Uh, so we need also some more capes, but like that's pretty easy to do. Um, we got two epics still left with the the leather armors and stuff. So in other words, our town is pretty thriving. Um, we've got shop quality for the apothecary is apothecary apothecary uh, is right there. We've got um, great shop quality for the inn and even the. Even the blacksmith is up to almost three stars now, despite having to sell some of the things that I had before. And now I'm going to start buying those things back. But of course, now I need people to actually purchase goods because I've spent a whole bunch of money trying to get things back in stock. So I will need to wait uh, to uh, at least until I can get the fish for the king. I will need to wait for that. But as long as there is stuff in stock for people, 
they should not leave. Yes, they should not leave. So the Kobolds are going to be killed five times. At least that's what I'm hoping that's what happens. Um, and when that happens, I'm hoping I get a big payday for it. Um, we're obviously doing some goblin killing here as the health of that drops down to 50%, 49, whatever. Um, and actually, let me check really quick on the supply for capes is right, what it was, right? We were getting a little short on capes. So let me make sure we have some of those too. Uh, I could do tier two, at least one of them. So we'll try to do a tier... Uh, tier 2 cape. Let me get that design I like. Uh, I probably should just do it manually, right? All right, there's that one. Um, let's just alter. Yeah, make that stand out just a little bit more. All right, good. So another good cape there, and then we'll do a bunch of like these tier 1s and stuff too. We'll just kind of get a couple of extra supplies in. We can upgrade our skills, and now we can do tier 3 capes, which is... I think this is the first... Is this the first shop where we could make tier three as far as wearables? I know we have obviously the inn and and the apothecary, but I, I don't think we have anything tier three from any of the other providers. And that's probably because our workload is split up amongst a lot of different things. Although look at this is very close. Ooh, we might be able to do this. This is very close. Yeah, one more sword, and we can now unlock tier three on the one-handed swords. Boom. Yeah. And, and I think we can afford to make one. Oh, boy. Now, here's the, here's the guess work here, right? Is it going to break? That's the question. Oh, my goodness. The Soldier's Saber of Speed. I have to see the stats on that sucker. All right, hang on. So let's go in to items here really quick. Over here, weapons. I have a tier three saber now, and it is selling for 2841. It does 48 damage. All right, so if I wanted to, uh, to order these things by tier level, so a level, a tier two two-handed sword does 32 damage. A tier, uh, let's just see the base. So like a regular old sword is 24. So, I mean, we're, we're talking double damage. In addition to that, more strength to constitution dexterity. And I could feasibly just hit this button right here. Oh, come on now. Oh, come on now. There it is. 48 damage. Plus 33 strength, 33 intelli uh, 36 intelligence, constitution, we need dexterity, and while in town increases blacksmith sales by 5%. That is a mighty sword, and it sells for nearly 3,000 gold. So which hero is going to have the soldier's saber of speed? I don't want to hear that there's no upgrades available in my shop, okay? Because that sucker is an upgrade. That sucker does 50% more damage than an epic two-hander at a lower tier. And the two-handed swords always do more damage than the single-handed swords. So, like, that's a pretty damn good sword. Somebody's going to get it. I kind of hope it's a paladin, to be honest, because that's, like, their only sword, right? The two-handed the two -handed soldiers, like, the, the people who do two-hand do dual-wielding, I mean, they get two swords. That's They, they can do damage, right? But uh, the paladin, right, they got to hold steady. They got to hold fast. Um, you know, eventually they're going to have a shield. Uh-huh. That's going to be good. Wow. I have gathered 500 times from natural resources. Are you kidding me? That's so many clicks. <laughs> so many clicks. Speaking of so many clicks, hey, do me a favor real quick and hit like on the video. Huh? That's a really quick click. That's a, it's a meaningful click. We can definitely get back on that. Uh huh? Come on. You can do that. I know. I believe in you. Look, see, I already saw the number go up. Thank you for that. I appreciate it. Maybe it wasn't you, but somebody did it. I appreciate it. Uh, we're going to take the bed. I'll put it right... Yeah, right here. Um, so I'm kind of putting back the stuff that I had to sell before is what I'm ultimately trying to do here. And then interior furniture. We're going to get that. Uh, is it this one? I think it was this nightstand right here. I think it's just decorative. It just costs money, but it doesn't really do much for me, I don't think. So I probably shouldn't have done that. Famously known as the safest place to store all your valuables. You don't want to venture stealing a storage chest. 
Oh boy. Um, one thing I do want to see is whether or not they fixed the uh, sticky upgrade situation or the sticky building thing situation. So uh, we have three displays there. I think it's the armor. I took it away from the armor, I think. Yeah, there's no, no, I didn't sell that. Um, oh, you know what? I think it maybe it was in the tannery. I thought I sold one of these armor displays, but I guess not. Um, we do, however, want to have more displays here. So I'm going to buy it. And uh, I want to see if I leave, if I just decide to, to exit out of this, right? And I just hit escape. Can I get this to where I'm not? St yes, it has been fixed. Okay, wonderful. So you're not stuck in build mode just because you started or thought about building something. That feels good. Uh, there is a little bit of iron here. I'm curious if I can rebuild the training dummy, the target dummy. So I should be able to get a target dummy and then they can train here, right? Um, that is the point of this area is to get them training. So hopefully they will come over here and do such a thing with the weapon master. Now, do we want to start making headgear? Because we can do that. We can actually do both of these things. And I do want the paladins and the heavy hitters especially to have both headgear and pauldrons. Um, if you're not familiar with VR, they're like the shoulder pads, basically. So they're, they're, they're all good things. And you make them at the tanner. So the tanner is going to have a lot of things to do. We're going to have so much use for leather and so because of that i think i want to have like six of these suckers there's a lot of usage for leather but until we get more money like getting fish i'm just hoping that one of the fish just pop in i wanted to just click and oh right there right there right there <laughs> there done three fish and money so now that i have the money i'll go cash that in uh, now that I have that money, I can go in and I think I'm going to put another one of these upgrades. And it is uh, Rabbit Trap right here. Yep, we're going to get at least one more of these things so that I can have more supply of leather because we're going to be doing a lot with this. In fact, I think I think even I think even one more um, so that I can make a lot because, again, helmets and pauldrons are going to be on multiple classes. Uh, we're going to have even more classes in the future as well. And the helmets are not just helmets. They're hats as well. So if I go to craft item, for example, helmets can look like helmets, right? But they can also look like masks and hats like this and even hats like this. So... We're definitely going to be doing a lot of customizations here in terms of trying to determine what the design of the stuff is, but I don't think I have any control at all over which like class will take what. So we might have, you know, we might have like a, uh, a paladin or something that's like supposed to have really high armor and they may just go and get one of these or like a cowboy hat kind of thing instead. Because it looks like they're kind of all the same. I don't really care for that. I sort of wish hats and helmets were distinctively different in the product pool, if you will. But it doesn't look like that's the case. So uh, we'll just have to make do. All right. So we're going to get more money for that. It looks like we have to kill even more kobolds. And so let's actually head over to the quest center. Because we don't have a whole lot of questing happening right here. So let's make sure that we can uh, get more quests. We have a, a CR-20 and a CR-12 on their way to get one. And we have one for the 20 and we have one for the 12. So that's good. This slay quest is still on the board and that's the boss. But all the rest of them were taken. So this is a good sign provided we don't lose anybody. Yeesh. Uh, I might want to put extra quests on the board in case that happens. Now, I will need a lot more iron, like I said. So going to put more quests on the board probably in the let's say 12 to 20 ish range here would be good we're going to put more quests on the board that are going to get me iron so 18 to 27 17 to 25 this is acceptable we'll put a couple here but i don't think i can actually get 
iron specifically at CRs lower than this because it's going to switch to bronze, which I am short on bronze again. So maybe that's OK, just so that I have available quests for people in a variety of uh, levels. Uh, but we need to have some more Kobold slaying quests anyway. So we'll let the 12 to 27s go in and I think we need to get more food. We'll get more food uh, from the goblins. No, we want kobolds. There we go. And 14 to 22. Uh, you know, we can just go over the woods for now. Let's get the beginners a chance to get in there. We'll do two quests from 12 to 18, taking down the kobolds. And then we'll do another one that kind of brings them like that 15 to 22 range. Uh, we don't need the extra risk, though. It doesn't change the quantity we get, so... 14 to 20 is fine. And then just in case somebody fails, I think we should put another one of these on the, on the queue here. And I'm going to make this be... Let's do metal here. 11 to 14 metal here. So 26 to 40 is the level for that boss quest. And if it gets picked up, then fine. But if it doesn't and we end up killing the kobolds, then um, you know we could just remove that quest from the board. If, uh, if it's overwhelming. But now at least we have a variety of quests on the board up to 15. Um, we can actually make even more of them. But we got to be careful. I don't... Well, no, not really. We're up to 13,000 now. Did somebody buy that sword? I want to know who has the sword. Oh, yeah. Somebody definitely bought that sword. Who bought the sword? Right there. Soldiers, saber... Uh... It doesn't... I don't know which one of you it is. It's the one with the shiny thing. Oh! It's... Wait, is it Goblin Smackin? I don't think it is. The Goblin Smackin is here. I think it's Ridvan, that son of a gun. He's got the other one. Ridvan went in with the 32 CR now. There we go. Yep. There's the Soldier Saber of Speed, the Legendary Sword, adding 20 CR by itself. That's fantastic. 31. Uh, no, that's not what that means. 30. What does the 20 mean? Any, anyone know what that means? The 20 next to it? Is it like a durability rating or something? We've got the, the armor's 25.5. This one's 11. You know, 8.4. What does that, what does that do? I wonder. Let me... uh. Me comment. Maybe is it just it's not the damage because that's all the stats and stuff below it. So what is that number for? I can't mouse over it or anything, so it doesn't really tell me. The game is a little bit lacking on information related to that stuff. Uh, but yeah, but it looks like Goblin Smackin had something good too, though, right? He's got a legendary sword. Yeah, the Burly Sword of Honor. There it is. He's a heavy hitter, so he only needs a two-hander. So that's a legendary two-hander he's got. That must have been from a while ago because I haven't made a legendary two-hander in quite a while. Uh, we should double check and make sure that there are adequate potions available for people as well. So let's just go in and make a few. There's only a couple of normals. And there's luck. There's the morale boost. So I'm thinking we can... Uh, we don't have any fish anymore. So it's going to have to be beginner potions, unfortunately. So we're going to say... Uh, and let's not use... Uh, reduce the time hero returns from quest. You know, we'll do three of these. That's a pretty good one, too. Uh, but I want mo mostly, I just want the, the luck ones because I could just use nothing but the herbs and I have tons of them. So let's make like 10 of these. See what we get for that. Okay, that's a pretty good assortment. I like that. So we have plenty of, uh, plenty of potions available. Okay. So nobody should be complaining about the lack of potions. Uh, what we got here? Storm is forming. Visitors won't visit. Okay, no big deal. Um,. Wasn't going to get a lot of visitors visiting anyway. Let's go ahead and get our our jute here. And I probably should add that other one in here. But um, until we start using a lot more of this jute, I would love, other than the trader, because obviously the trader works for this purpose, but I would love something added to the game that would allow me to take basic resources and convert them to more advanced resources. So, for example, I would be able to take the raw leather and work it to make the leather, right? And then maybe work that to get the thick leather. You know what I mean? So there's a natural evolution to think, refined leather. Because right now, I don't I don't see that in the game as far as upgrades are available. 
I see no nothing in the game that allows me to upgrade existing uh, supplies of basic goods like jute and per turn it into linen and then turn that into silk, right? There just doesn't seem to be anything like that available. So that's something I think the game could really use because right now it only allows me to grow my own supply of the most basic of goods. Oh, the tailor's got only four, four capes left. <laughs> Uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, I don't want people getting the broken armor, but it's better than nothing. And then tons of stuff in not that many things. We could maybe make another couple of armors. We could. We could get another couple of armors in there, possibly. I want. I do want to get start getting tier 3 armor eventually, too. That'd be nice. Uh, all we have available here are tier 1s at the moment, so... And they're still breaking tier 1s. Wow. Wow. Okay. Not enough. Not enough resources. Fine, fine, whatever. All right. So I will be waiting for my heroes to return from their quest to kill the Kobold. Uh, I don't see anybody returning right now. Lots of people on adventures. Phantom is a 26. He's currently taking on the Kobold boss. Is that? Uh, that sounds low. 26 to 40. Okay, that's like the bare minimum there. So hopefully you're... Yeah, okay. Medium morale then. Uh, Lucius is not on a boss. Okay, so Z Z uh, still don't know how to say this. I'm just going to... You know what? Here, I'm going to do this. This is Zell now. I can't pronounce that name. Um, Zell has a boss quest. She's 28 at least and in very good spirits. Aaron Wen is also on the boss quest. And okay, morale with 26. So these two are riding the line here. But that's three. Um, we don't have... Who else is going... That only, that's just three, right? One, two, three. Only three. So I need to kill it five times. So that means I need more people. Maybe there's somebody on their way to return. Ridvan. Oh my god, Ridvan. Please kill the kobold boss. This quest right here. It's got you all over it, buddy. Right there. That's yours. You go in there with that legendary sword and you dominate. Okay? <laughs> and then there's this other one for the metals and stuff too. But I'd rather have the one for food because I'm, I'm going to be short on food in a bit. Let's make some more food while we're here. Uh, we'll also try to get it to be epic because we can afford it. There we go. Uh, and then we'll get some basic stuff that the peasants can buy. And now we're completely out of the fruits. I believe it's just called fruit. Yeah. We're completely out of fruit. And uh, luckily, we don't have to refill the bees. We're a little bit light on capes. So I do want to make more capes. But it's it's cool that we can get tier 3 capes now. Um, we're obviously going to do, do tier 1s here real quick. But um, it is cool that we have access to the tier 3s. Because it's only doing one type of product, right? That's why we got it so quickly. Because we're not doing robes. At least not yet. Um, we will when mages happen. But for now, we're just doing this. So more of this. Still breaking them. But at least they are available for people to buy. Alright, so I let it run for a little while. And I got notified that we now have 25 heroes on our roster. Which is kind of wild. Um, we also got given 20 mutton, or meat, mutton, um, here. And so we're up to 40 mutton now. So I actually, I can actually make some really fancy food now if I want to. You know, provided that I have uh, enough of the other ingredients as well, which I suppose I do have three fish. So I could kind of get into here with it. Uh, looks like, let's see, is there anything I could make? I need a little bit of wheat here, but a masterful dish prepared with great care. The dream of any adventurer. Wow. 70% HP restore on that. And just it's 500 bucks just to make one of them. So that's a lot. I mean, it's, it actually doesn't cost that much to click this button. So I, I kind of recommend doing so because the effects of that little bit of difference is kind of worth it. I think we're going to go ahead and do this. Um, although for only a 23% chance, I'm not sure it's necessarily worth that 70 extra 70 each. Eh, I think I'll just go ahead and make four of these like this. So we're going to get some of that mutton. That's normal. It's fine. 
And then uh, if I get some wheat, I kind of want to make this masterful dish here. <laughs> Although there's this here. It just says, I kind of want to know what it's called. It just says item effects. I wish this stuff had names, you know? Guess we don't get that. Uh, I'm going to save the fish for potions, actually. And let's go over to the potion maker. And uh, I'm going to use that fish for potions. Because I like the I like the potion that goes with the fish. Because it may protect the hero from perishing during their next quest. It's a very good potion to have. And I can only afford to make one of them. We're going to try our hand. 65%. And we got the excellent potion. Outstanding. So that means a really good chance, I guess, huh? Probably would be a really attractive potion for them to... Uh, get this is a lot more money too look at this 1351 holy moly that's an expensive potion somebody who's going after the boss will definitely want to buy that uh let's see uh armors are pretty bad actually the only armor we have that's is like uncommon but then there's a tier two broken one that costs a little bit more than that we're just not really getting a whole lot of luck with the potion with uh, the blacksmith Maybe it's because I haven't named the blacksmith yet. Because I did, I did actually, I do actually remember seeing somebody uh, leave a comment that says they wanted to have their blacksmith name. Um, I do remember seeing one. So I'll tell you what I'm going to do right now. I'm going to pause this. And I'm going to go over there. I'm going to rename the blacksmith um, because somebody did respond, and that is importante. Okay, so some of you guys have gotten just really creative with this and I'm going to show that but first we got a brand new hero and I want to get them I'm going to get them into the game so we got a couple of different options here with uh various different classes and all those kinds of stuff and I'm not entirely sure who to put in here so uh I think I'll go ahead and just do uh like Elon or, or Kerrigan or somebody it doesn't really I don't think matter so we're gonna say well actually it does for this for this name it probably does um you know, male or female here, it probably matters. Uh, so we'll say, you know, what class do we want to do here? Let's say a new heavy hitter. I don't want to do it if your morale is bad. Um, I don't want to give you... We could give you somebody good. I mean, there's so many people now at this point that I don't think there's any way to, like, only give you, you know, the newest people. So this one is going to be Lucas uh, Calpert. Is that how... I don't, I don't know how you say this. Uh, I'm going to go with Calpert for, Calper for now. Lucas uh, Col Colper. Maybe it's Colper. Col like Colbert. I don't know. <laughs> Either way, uh, this is Lucas. Uh, let's start. Now, we also had a couple of other people that wanted it in the game. And I got you in there, too. So, let me just go to show uh, Paladins. We have Swinger Bob is in the game now. Swinger Bob is in the game now. Let's get a look, get a look at Swinger Bob. Uh, Swinger Bob. Look at him go. Got a big old sword. He's the paladin. He's gonna have a shield uh, very soon. We're gonna get the the wood the woodworker uh, going here pretty soon. If we can do that, it'd be great. Um, we also got uh, in addition to to Swinger Bob, we also put Blabster in as a paladin. So this is Blabster, and let's just get a quick look at Blabster. There he goes. Huh? Got a nice outfit there. Also going to be a paladin. So you're gonna have. Yeah, oh, this is this is fancy too. Ah, uh, yeah, definitely. We're gonna get a shield in your hand, um, get some helmets, get you really ready to go, ready for battle. You know, that's definitely good. Now, like I said, you guys had some. You guys are pretty creative names. Um, I do like it. We have a, a name for the blacksmith. We also have one for the inn. Um, and I try not to double dip. So, you know, somebody who names one building, even if you had multiple names for other buildings, I'm, I'm going to use somebody else's recommendation, right? Just try to spread it around. It's only fair. So uh, this one, the inn is now referred to as the Drunken Dwarf. That's, that's a pretty good name. I like it. So this is now the Drunken Dwarf. So head on up to the top of the hill to the Drunken Dwarf to get yourself a beer. Um, wait, no, we don't have beers. Fine. You're going to have a bad apple then. <laughs> courtesy of our wonderful people at the Drunken Dwarf. Now, the reason why I say there's some creativity in this is that I'm also going to name the Blacksmith, and this one has a backstory, okay? So the Pyro went in, and he's like, uh, basically the character would be the same for either. So he's, so he's oh, either a Blacksmith or a Weapon Master. Those are both the same thing. Um, so it says the Pyro Lord of Cinder is gathering an army of wannabe adventurers, boosting their power for his great revenge so that he can take over the world. His alias is Blaze. Um, 
and uh, is a fire demon who turned good and is now running Blaze's Hell Artifacts. But unfortunately, Blaze's Hell Artifacts doesn't fit in the name field. So this one is simply Blaze's Artifacts. There you go, Blaze's Artifacts, who is actually secretly a demon from hell who makes weapons and armor. So come and buy <laughs> Blaze's Artifacts directly from Blaze himself. There you go. Um, so we have good, lots of weapons in here. And all of our tier two stuff is just instantly bought, right? So we have to keep going. We have to keep grinding and making that stuff. And it's just, I don't have enough of these tier two items. And the stupid trader never shows up. I just, I need him to show up, man. It sucks. Um, all right. So we did get a successful Kabold boss kill. That looks good. I'm probably going to see, I'm hoping anyway, we're going to see some new heroes leaving here we have a 24 quest an 18 and an 18 please tell me we have things for them uh 18 18 24s yep we have plenty of quests for everyone all age groups and levels shouldn't be hearing anything shouldn't be hearing any problems from anyone there okay uh so double checking my uh my wares here for the civilians for the for the visitors making sure we have everything for them as well yep let's restock that for the medicine and all set and done now is there anything with thirteen thousand bucks i've got one lucas is over here training nice uh, i've got only one test dummy and we need to build four of them for the training grounds to work i think so we're gonna go to upgrade we're gonna find our training dummy oh we need freaking iron all right so well we have to wait for the iron now there's also other training though we don't just need the training dummy there's also a uh there's the shield uh, uh, this invocation stage used by skilled spell casters at the training grounds this is the safest way of practicing the magical arts so once we get our woodworker we can then get this going and uh then we can get them uh in there to to train that stuff too so this this station here this area here is going to be quite busy there's gonna be a lot of stuff going on in here um and then we also have a long range dummy which uh that's where our rangers our bow bow wielders will be able to do um we also have a couple names in the game i haven't forgot you i have seen your comments but you specifically requested classes that i don't have yet um, so uh for example um Agamar Agam Agamorus, uh Sil sliver moon uh -huh. Related to Mordecai, most likely. Uh, wanted to be a ranger, or I said maybe a ranger, but I think I'll, I'll think I'll go ahead and do that. And get you to be a ranger, um, and then I also have somebody for either Rena Steel or Taylor Steel wanted to be a mage. So when I get mages, it'll be the first on the list to have that class. Okay. So I, I know that you got the comments. If I haven't said your name yet and I haven't shown you in the game yet, then I don't have your comment for it because I actually have my list cleared now. So uh, if I if you didn't if I didn't hear your name yet. Uh, right just now or today or in the past videos then uh, feel free to leave it down below we'll add it to the list we've got lots of heroes hopefully you don't die but if you do well put it I mean, it could have been worse right you could have went out like a pansy and just decided you didn't want to do it anymore because there wasn't a potion at the shop <laughs> uh ooh, look at this yes kabold boss down two who's returning right now who is returning? Uh, so we have Adventure. So Phantom is still going. And uh, Ridvan is definitely still going there. So that's another two kills. They'll bring it down to four out of five. So we need one more. They're probably a returning adventure, I would hope. Uh, returning. Turning. Uh, doesn't look like any of these guys are doing it. So yeah, so we only have two more heroes that are doing the Kabold boss quest currently. And we also have one... No, we don't have anyone that's taking the quest yet either, which is unfortunate. So uh, it looks to me like we are missing one quest taken for that. We're missing one adventurer to go out and do that. So let me just take a real quick look at our quest list here. I should see... There's a boss quest here. Yes, this one. So let's make that a priority 
Make sure people do it. That is the last one on the list that we need to do in the next 10 days. Got plenty of time. It just I want to make sure that I have it on the list, though. Uh, all right, then. So I've got everybody in the game, and we're, we're purring along nicely. I'm going to gather my funds. I think I'm going to wait until I have about 30 grand, and then we're going to get the woodworker going, and then we can start making all sorts of classes at this point and really driving it, driving it home and getting a lot of different... Uh, Getting a lot of different people coming to town. Yeah. Got a new uh, one-handed sword that we just sold. I'll keep working on it, though. But but that's it. That's going to be this video today. I hope you guys got in the game. I think next video, we'll probably get the woodworker. And uh, we'll definitely get the training grounds operational. Because uh, that, it just needs to happen. And in order to do it... Oh, wait, wait, wait. Before we go. Sorry. <laughs> oh, are you seeing the names on the right side of the screen? Huh? Are you one of those people that click away as soon as you see the, see the names? Well, you're going to miss this then. We have uh, lots of iron now. So uh, we're going to go in and get our target dummies. And I think I'll just uh, get another another one like right here. I don't know. Should they be spread out? Probably should be like really spread out, right? Like maybe we put them on this side instead. We can go like here and then here. And then we move this one, we could say, oh, that one's in use, so we'll move it later. And then we'll say, uh, here. Experience and talent is done. Build the training grounds. Yes, we did. Rewards are unlocked. Oh, boy. And we get two more upgrade stones. So now we're going to have lots of, like, I think sword training and stuff could be over here. And then we'll do the range training over here. So they'll shoot from this side. Uh, and then maybe we, if we move this over a little bit, we could have the, the mages train in the back. Like towards the wall sort of thing you know in case they miss or mess up their spell then it's just gonna happen over here instead of over here near the path so that could be that could be something good but now we got ourselves a training grounds and hopefully that means everybody will be practicing and leveling up a lot faster without having to put themselves in danger doing so that's what i'm hoping happens here um we still have the tanner unnamed so if that's something you're interested in drop me your most creative name for our new tanner and uh, we'll take a look at adding that to the next time. Huh? So we've got decorations, though. I've added a rug and these these displays and all that stuff, too. So uh, we're good to go as far as dec decor, but we don't have a name. So that's going to do it for me, all right? Thanks for watching. I appreciate it. We'll see you. Bye-bye.